Hi. I missed you. Can I give you a hug? Please? Please, please, please. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Your hugs are the best. Hmm? Oh, I, I know. It hasn't actually been that long. We've met up a couple of times since that time. But it feels like it's been longer. And, and every time I'd come back, you, you had more knots again. Like, no matter how often I came, they, they didn't stay unknotted for long. But, you also met some other people who helped get rid of the knots. And I'm glad. Because I love being with you. And I love helping you, but I can't be here all the time. So I'm really glad there are other people who make you feel good too. Like Huxley, and Lasco, and Damien, and Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> I met Gavin a long time ago, back when I was still at the Demon Academy. I thought he was really nice. My brothers and sisters didn't really know what to do with him. And the feelings his kind of demon feed on are ones that we don't really deal with. And he kind of teased some of them about that. But I thought he was nice. He had a lot of knots. And... A lot of what he'd say, well, the words didn't match what he was feeling inside. I hope he's doing better. But if he's around you a lot, I'm sure he is. You'll make everything feel better. Oh. Well, I wanted to come talk to you. And see how you were. Um, because I missed you. <laughs> but. Also, I. I wanted to tell you about my idea. I know we've talked about. What Vega said to you. And what he said he'd do to. Me. Or you. And I, I know I should just leave it alone. But they're hurting. And they don't even know why. He's allowed to do it. I, I know that, but I just hate it. Thinking about it. There's so much hurting in, in the world, and I know this is just another part of that, and, and I can't fix everything, but this, I think I can stop this. He has claim over them, and demons can't interfere with another demon's rightful claim. Even when they aren't doing right with it. As long as he's regularly feeding on their emotions, he has a valid claim to them. But if I can just keep him away long enough, it'll expire. And then I can take them on as my charges. And he won't be able to touch them again. Not without getting in big trouble. And if he does, then I can actually get the department to step in and stop him. I can't do anything to either of them directly. Or else I could get in trouble for interfering with his claim. But if I can lure him away and then keep him distracted long enough, it'll work. 
A few of my brothers and sisters agreed to help. They won't confront him outright. I, I knew they wouldn't. But they will help keep him busy. It'll work. I, I really think it will. And I've got to try something. But I need to talk to you about it. Because it's not just me who'd be at risk. Vega didn't feed on you or, or physically hurt you. And I didn't feed on his charges or, or hurt them. So neither of us has violated the other's claim yet. It seems like he really wants to hide behind the rules to keep his claim legitimate. And if that's true, then no matter what threats he said to you, he won't actually hurt you. Because if he did, then he'd be in violation of my claim, and the department could stop him. So I don't actually think he'd do anything, except try to scare you. Anything more than that, and he'd get in big trouble. But... I can't guarantee it. He might try to hurt you anyway. And I could report it, but the damage would already be done. And I know you've learned a lot and you're stronger now, but... He's a demon. In a fight between the two of you, he'd win. And I'm not going to do anything that would put you at risk if that's not a risk you're willing to take. I, I, I'd never do that. We can keep him distracted. I, I believe that. And I don't think he'd be that crazy to defy my claim on you, but you never know. So if you don't want me to, I, I won't do it. I don't ever want you to hurt because of me. Just say the word and I'll, I'll figure something else out. Really? You mean it? I, I don't, I don't want you to do it if you're worried. Please. I don't want you to feel like you have to go along with it. You don't, really. You don't owe me anything, and, and I know you're already going through enough. School and that bad water elemental. You've already got so many things, and I, I, I don't, I don't want to be another one. I probably shouldn't have even said it. Are you sure? Really, really sure. <sighs> Thank you. Can I get another hug? <laughs> I won't let him hurt you. I won't. Whatever it takes. You're my best friend. <laughs> hey, hey, no, 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 no tickles. That's, that's not fair. I'm trying to be serious. Well, thank you. I like seeing you smile too. But it's still no fair. <laughs> okay. Well, it's my job to make sure you're happy. No knots. And I've already brought you down enough. So now, I'm going to bring you up. I don't want to be sad and mopey and gloomy all night. There's a lot of stuff to be happy about. Like, your finals. You did great. I'm so happy for you. 
And Damien's really happy too. <laughs> He's grumpy. But he gets a lot of good feelings when he thinks about you. I think he just doesn't know how to say them. He's got a lot of knots. But I think they're starting to loosen up. Gavin? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically, Gavin is violating my claim by getting feelings from you. You know, <laughs> those feelings. <laughs> but it's only actually a violation if I disagree with what he's doing. And he makes you really happy. So I don't mind. It's mute. Mutual. Mutual. It's good for all of us. Like, he makes you feel good, and that makes me feel good. And that makes it easier for me to help you feel good, which makes him feel good, which makes you feel good, which makes me feel good, which helps me make you feel good, which makes him feel good, which makes you. F <laughs> Sorry. But everybody feels good, which is good. It's good to have good feelings. So, as long as you like having him around, I'm happy that he makes you happy. Well, I don't mind that you haven't told him about me yet. Well, I know when he asked you if you ever met an empathy demon that you didn't really correct him because... Well, you only kind of knew him. But whenever you do want to tell him, I don't mind him knowing. From what you told me, it, it kind of seems like you're keeping the different parts of your life pretty separate. Well, I just mean you haven't told Gavin about Cody and and you haven't told any of the elementals about me, or Gavin, or Vega. Well, actually, you have mentioned Gavin. <laughs> that Lasko guy gets flustered really easy. But you make him really happy, too. No, 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 I, I don't think that's bad. I just want whatever makes you happy. So... If that means not telling everybody everything, or at least not yet, then I don't think that's wrong. It's your life, and it's your choice. You get to choose when it feels right to tell people things. Nobody should tell you what to do with that. That's not right. We're getting off track again, silly. <laughs> you make me do that a lot trying to bring you up, like I said. No more gloomy mopey. So, what do you want to do? Oh, I, I could make you some desserts again. Would you like that? I can do it really easy right now, because I feel really good with you. Well, yeah, I, I can just make ingredients too. Why? Really? You want to bake with me? Like, the whole real thing? Even if it gets messy? Yay! <laughs> that sounds really fun. I'd love that. I don't know how to make much, though. I don't really know any recipes. You don't really have to when you do it with magic. Oh, you have a book with them? I didn't know they made those. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. No, not for the rest of you books, silly. For... For being my friend. And for spending time with me. 
and you make me really happy. Oh, well, I'm glad I make you happy too. Oh wait, I can make his matching aprons. I'll race to the kitchen. 